Residents in Stark found out how powerful a moderate to severe tornado can be. Yesterday's thunderstorm spawned a twister that ripped through trees and tore roofs off sheds and houses. Terry Paterson was driving home from work around 4 o'clock and found herself in the wrong place at the wrong time. Little teeny things were flying, big things were flying. I was just holding on to the steering wheel praying. And so the cleanup has begun, but the memory of what happened will haunt these victims for years to come. And he said, I know my niece, she hollered. And I go, what? And she said, it's raining in the house. And then I ran to the den and looked, and I opened my back door, and I almost passed out, because there was a tree laying right there. And then me and my niece and my daughter, we just stood there and cried. Down the road, Raymond Massey was home with his family. He witnessed the calamity from start to finish. From the sprinkle to the big hail, we picked it up in the front yard, showed my son, nice little hailstorm, no problem. Next thing I know, everything is just like this, missing. Yeah. And we're, like, we're still picking stuff up out from the yard. What was going through your mind? My children. And like others, it'll take the Masseys months to repair the damage. Overall, their house remained intact with most of the damage to the exterior. But their next door neighbors, Mr. and Mrs. Schaefer, were not so fortunate. In fact, they have nowhere to sleep tonight. In Stark, I'm Eric Reinholdt, TV20 News.